Hello everybody, um, my name is Katie and Keon and welcome to the channel and to a bit of a uh, interesting video. So what we're going to do, uh, this is going to kind of be a general update for anybody who regularly watches me and frankly just anyone who's curious because I've kind of dipped, dipped into the ethereal realm for quite a while. Um, a lot happened and I wanted to update you guys and then also just kind of give you some information on what we're going to do with the channel. So uh, part one, we'll go with part one here. I'm going to try and do this quickly, relatively speaking, but we'll, we'll kind of see how it goes and how I end up. I, you guys know how I rant, rant and ramble. So uh, part one is what happened. So a lot happened. Um, three weeks ago for about no about four weeks ago my mom came up for a ride-along I'm a truck driver as many of you know and she came for a ride-along and I took the week off I didn't have videos kind of lined up uh, I just kind of dropped the ball and so I, I, I decided to just kind of not bother because I wanted to spend time with my mom and I had a great time while she was with me, um, unfortunately, one of her friends from a long time ago passed away. That was the first kind of hit of what would be, frankly, a hellish three weeks. I'm going to be perfectly honest with you. It's, it's, it's not been a good three weeks. So... It was, it was I think, that Thursday that her, her friend passed away. I knew her friend. I really liked her friend. I hadn't been, I haven't like done a whole lot with her. I met her a couple of times. She was a really nice lady and she passed away from cancer to my knowledge. Literally an exact week later, the next, the next Thursday, we get a call from my cousin, uh, it wasn't cousin Greg my cousin Angelina, that my great aunt Cabby suffered a life ending stroke. Literally not even like that next Thursday, she called us. Unfortunately, due to aunt Cabby's physical condition and the way that she just is, any surgery to try and help her would only cause more damage and wouldn't help her. She is currently still alive. But it is a life-ending stroke. It is basically a situation of, as cruel as it sounds, it's literally whenever she decides to die. She's going to die. It's going to kill her. There is no hope. There is no way of fixing it. The, the blood clot was way too big, and her physical condition rendered her entirely incapable of recovering from it. It's just a matter of when her body finally gives out. Then... Perhaps four days after that, no, the day after her stroke, we then hear, hear that her son Greg's wife uh, has, ter has terminal ovarian and cervical cancer. Then literally three days later, his wife dies. Like flat out, she dies. So my mom's best friend, my cousin's wife, both are dead. And Aunt Cabby, frankly, harsh as it sounds, to put it this way, is out the door. It's just her body has to catch up with the realization that she's gone. So, yeah. The, it's not been a very good few weeks. I talked with my company, and my company is absolute champions because the minute I go to them and say hey here's what's going on I need to get off the road I am in no position to be driving an 80,000 pound piece of equipment I am I am far too emotional stressed and frankly like I said just not in a good place to be driving a semi and my company goes no you got it you you tell us what you need we'll get it done and they gave me a full week to just go home for bereavement leave and to just be with my family because 
a lot was going down with that stuff. And everyone just kind of collectively, my brother, my mother, my grandmother, my grandfather, everyone just kind of was like, we need to get everybody together and no one needs to just, no one, no one needs to be alone right now. Everyone just needs to kind of be together. And that's what we did for an entire week. However, it was not a smooth week. I love my cousin Greg, but he, he has a propensity for not listening and he has a propensity for being a bit much. I'm not going to go into a whole lot of details. It's a lot of personal family drama, but suffice it to say him and then my cousin Tyler, who is a known wild card sometimes due to some other issues, they kind of bounced off of each other and caused a lot of problems. So it was not a very smooth week that added to the stress tenfold. Everyone was running at stress level 11 when the week started. And I don't think, I think we got back down to 11 by the time I went back to work. Um, yeah, and that's, it's, so it's, I'll be perfectly honest with you. A, a good chunk of the lack of videos is because I needed to have time to be with family. I needed to address the family situation. And frankly, I've just, I've just not had it in me. I really haven't. For, for a good few weeks, I couldn't honestly bring myself to record a video. And honestly, I'm still kind of somewhat coming back from it because that was a lot to have happen. And, I'm, and, and again, it's hard because I want to share everything, but I know that's, it's not a good thing to do that. It, you guys don't need all of my drama. I don't need to unload off on you guys. But I wanted to give you guys somewhat of an update, but a lot happened in these four weeks and it has been nuts on top of that I'm getting a new truck at my company so uh, as of recording I will be getting my new truck the next tomorrow the next day uh, so I've got a whole lot of tearing apart my entire truck to move everything into the new truck reorganizing everything so it might be a couple more days before we're back to being on a regular schedule but I had some time today and I, I wanted to get this video out. And that pretty much sums up part one. That's, that's basically just kind of what happened and frankly just why I basically dropped off the face of my YouTube channel. I, uh, I appreciate those of you who've stuck around and are here. I appreciate those of you who are frequent watchers and those of you who've subscribed. I appreciate you more than you can realize. It's, it's, it's awesome to see you guys here. So thanks for watching. Part two. Okay, so part two is going to be a layout of what I'm planning for the channel. So as many of you may have noticed, there's a couple of games that I've more or less just abandoned. Um, and I wanted to kind of get some explaining out on that. And then I also wanted to tell you like my new, my new plan. So first off, Code and Exiles. Why have I basically stopped playing Code and Exiles? I stopped playing months ago and I haven't posted another video. I love Conan Exiles. I've said it before and I'll say it again. I love it. It's one of the first games I got to buy on my own without having to ask my parents to check it out first. It's, it's, it's a fun, super fun game. But it has one major drawback when you're playing solo. And it's one that I find difficult to deal with in the truck because of time. <laughs> Son of a gun, I had really... Well, that's going to be on the video. That's going to be fantastic. That's why you don't pay attention to other things while driving, folks. Anyway, back on to what I was saying. So, Conan Exiles is a massive resource-intensive game. You have to collect a lot of resources. You have to do a lot of building. I got to the point where I was finding myself spending days gathering what I needed to get an advancement on a weapon or armor or a better set of this to go to the next boss to fight the next boss even if I turned things down to where it was blatantly fit unfair and it was easy for me to kill the boss it wasn't fun for me and then I just 
I, I, I don't know. I was spending, I feel, way too much time doing prep work, and I wasn't getting any other videos done. All to do a video that was just very, pretty much me fighting the boss, and then there was nothing else for me to do than to go right back and start collecting resources for the next boss. There are a lot of people who are successful at Conan Exiles content. I watch a lot of different guys who do, and guys and gals who do uh, that kind of content, and good on them. But I, I just, unfortunately for me, and the way that I am basically forced to do things in the truck, I, I just am not in a position to, to put that much investment into it. Also factoring in that I've got Factorio and um, a couple of other really intensive games that I've been working on. And yeah, so that's kind of why I got rid of Conan Exiles off the channel. Uh, Derail Valley, the next one. So, Derail Valley, I haven't really abandoned. It's more just... I've been... Derail Valley is more of a... I've been preoccupied with other things. I will be bringing Derail Valley back. I will be having other episodes of that. That is not gone. It's just... Furloughed. Uh, uh, it's just laid off. Whatever you want to call it. I will be returning to Derail Valley in due time. That's just been put to the side at the moment because I was focusing on other games. Satisfactory. Satisfactory, I haven't done a lot of just... That one was, again, kind of the same thing as Derail Valley. I'm not really done with Satisfactory. But between Helldivers, uh, my buddy Echo got me back into Warframe. Between... And then he's trying to get me into Payday 2. Between some of these live service games and some other stuff that I've been playing and then all the bullshit that's been going on, Satisfactory was another one of those that just kind of got pushed to the wayside for the time being. And, um, yeah, that's that's basically why the, that one is gone as well. Uh, Carrion. Carrion, I feel I'm just kind of done with. I'm going to be perfectly honest with you. There's some more I can do to it. And I, I, I'll be honest, I might record another episode to to uh, to finish it off, like a final episode. But I just I just don't know. I'm not. It's not super popular on my channel anyway. And I kind of have just been. It was fun while it was for what it was, but I've kind of been monstered out. I guess I'm just kind of done with it. Um, I don't know. You guys can comment if you want me to continue it, but I, I'm just kind of meh on that one. Uh, Hell Divers is still going to be going on occasionally. I might be posting some Warframe. I might be posting some Payday Two stuff. Uh, Phasmophobia is still going on. I just haven't had a whole lot of videos, and I'll explain why I haven't had a whole lot of those ready to go later in, in another part. I might be adding Devour to the channel. We'll see how that goes with uh, my brother and the, and the group. I just clipped the sign. Frick. We'll see how that kind of goes with the uh, my brother and the group, you know, and see if that ends up being something that's popular. I say popular, but I'm still abiding by my previous channel thing of, like, I'm going to do what I want to do. But I will, tr I will do some. I will stick with some things that are pretty popular. Case in point, the next one I want to talk to, Brotato. Brotato is not gone. I am just stuck. I am stuck on this bro. I'm trying to figure out this one Brotato, and it's pissing me the hell off. And I'm stuck on it, and I'm trying to figure it out myself without looking anything up, and it's taking me forever. But I will eventually do a video. I will get more videos out on Brotato. I love Brotato and I want to keep doing it. Echo's been doing Brotato and there's an update for Brotato coming out that might add multiplayer. And you can bet your ass I'm going to do it with Andrew and Echo and whoever else wants to do Brotato with me. And I think that's going to be super crazy fun. Um, final little bit of channel update stuff. So I think that covers most of the games. Uh, final little update of channel stuff. So I, once we start getting back into our schedule, we didn't really have a schedule before. I'm wanting to put one in now. I feel like I was kind of burning myself out a little bit. Echo was talking to me, and I think he's pretty right about it. I feel like I was just kind of burning myself out and working myself a little too hard, trying to do a video every day. I very rarely managed to do that for more than a week or two. 
and I'm, and I'm thinking that was affecting me more than I even realized. So what I'm going to do is starting probably the end of this week, I'll see kind of how it feels on my new truck situation and what ends up being done. My, my birthday is tomorrow, so uh, I'm turning the big 2-5. <laughs> so I might do a birthday celebration stream. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, I'll kind of keep you guys posted on that. Basically, what I want to do is when we do get back into the swing of it, I want to do a schedule where I do like one video every two days. I don't know what I'm gonna what day I'm gonna start, but but the idea, let's say starting Monday, it will be a video out Monday, no video Tuesday, a video out Wednesday, no Thursday, a video out Friday, no Saturday, a video out Sunday, no Monday, and there's cycle periodically. And I might even do it where I do Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Or I might do like, ooh, crap, I got to turn over. Oh, I'm going to crash. I'm not really demonstrating. I'm trying to talk and drive, and it's an obvious problem. But I'm not really putting up a good front here for, you know, being an actual truck driver. This is not how I drive in real life, folks. Okay, trust me. Anyway, um, I might do Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and then maybe a weekend day or something like that. I'm not too sure yet. Yeah, I know, I got a damaged gear. I keep crashing into shit. Anyway, I'll kind of feel that one out as I go, but that's kind of my general thought process is uh, doing basically video, no video, video, no video, and video, no video. And I think that'll be easier on me, and it will help me to better plan videos out like I used to do. Uh, and that's pretty much it for that. So rolling along. Okay, so part three is... I'm not really sure. Part three is going to... Okay, let's start with Brotator. Or let's start with new stuff coming to the channel. So I mentioned it before. I'll mention it again. I got some new stuff that I'm planning on bringing to the channel. There may be some Warframe videos that come out. I don't know what I'm going to really do. They might just be some random bullshit videos. They may not really have much to them. Um, we'll just kind of see. War, uh, Hell Divers will be coming back to the channel. I just kind of stopped playing for a little while to kind of let some of this uh, drama that was going on blow over. But I will be coming back to it. I still love Hell Divers. I still want to play it. Devour. That's what I was mentioning earlier. Devour will be coming to the channel. That will be with uh, the bro and the friends and on the party, the whole nine yards. We'll see kind of how that ends up going. Um, there is a new game that came out fairly recently that I was going to do before everything blew the fuck up. And then everything blew the fuck up and I just didn't get to it. That's called Foundry. It's supposed to be kind of a Factorio meets Satisfactory mix from my understanding. I haven't really put a lot of look into it yet. Uh, I'm gonna give that a shot. I've found the I found the game Foundry use uh, through the real civil engineer. He's one of the YouTubers that I really I really enjoy. And on that note, another one he did that I'm looking at, that I'm looking into is Timberborn. That one looked really interesting, and I might I I, I, I might want to give that one a shot. I like those Timberborn oxygen not included kind of games. Um, Oxygen Not Included is a option for the future. At the moment, I'm going to say no, because I want to focus on some other games that are coming to the channel. But I'm Oxygen Not Included is not off the table. Persona 5 is coming to the channel at some point. A friend suggested it, and I've blown him off for like three months because I've been busy with a bunch of shit and then all the bullshit from the family and everything that happened and people dying and everything going on. I promise Persona 5 is coming to the channel. I didn't lie to that friend, he, uh, but it's going to be a bit because because uh, I've been told it's a lo long inclusive game and I got a lot of those. So we're going to we're going to work ourselves through a couple of things first. Payday 2 uh, could be coming to the channel. We'll see how that one goes. I'm not. I'm not too sure. I decided to not add ready or not, and the reason why is I just I I feel a little. I like ready or not, 
but I feel like that's probably going to be a bit of an iffy game to have on the channel. Might add it later, I don't know, I just, I don't know. I play it with Echo, I play it with Andrew, and I play it with Cody. And Andrew's difficult to play with because he likes to crack a lot of extremely offensive cop jokes. Because he, because th they're funny, but they're not funny for the internet because the internet is not known for its sense of humor. Um, or at least its sane sense of humor. Anyway, I'm not going to get into the whole rigmarole. Ready or not, it's probably not going to be coming to the channel. But Payday 2 will, uh, Warframe probably. There's a couple of other things that, like that, that might be added in. Um... If you guys are interested, I would be willing to do some American Trucking Simulator stuff. Maybe some American Trucking Simulator streams. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, finally, the last little bit that will come to the channel. So when Brotato returns, we're going to go back to our normal videos of like challenges and weird things, how to figure out different characters. But I am officially announcing for everybody here who's listening still, I will be doing a Brotato tier list. I have two more Brotatoes that I need to win at least like at least difficulty zero. Once that's done, I will finish up the recording for a full Brotato tier list that I will have to then make a part two to because they released an, they released an update or they're going to release an update sometime soon that will add like 15 more characters. I'm, <laughs> I'm not going to wait for that because it's still coming soon to be announced. So I'm going to go ahead and post the, thir I think it's like 32 or 36 characters that are currently in the game. And then, uh, well, I guess we're going to have to go around here, that are currently in the game. And then do a tier list of that and add the, uh, the whatchamacallit, add the, the other ones later. That's, I think, just going to end up being the better option, to be honest. I do also want to do a basic a basics for dummies breakdown of the stats, uh, a tier list of weapons, and a tier list of items. The tier list of weapons and items are going to take me a long time to get through because there is a fuck ton of both of those in the game. So I am announcing it as something I'm going to do, but I have absolutely no idea when it's going to happen how it's going to happen and exactly when it's going to actually come out but I will get to it eventually when I have the time maybe I'll do it uh, maybe I'll do some of it when I go on vacation here in July I don't know we'll see I am going for my brother's birthday so probably not uh, Century of Steam is the I think the last one I th I'm sure everyone's probably aware I've mentioned it before in previous uh, Derail Valley videos. When Studio 346, I think it is, when they finally release Century of Steam, I will be getting it. It will be added to my repertoire next to, next to Derail Valley. It will be a game that I play quite a bit of, I feel like. It's supposed to be super damn, super, super fucking good. And it should be, because Heist... An actual train engineer guy is... Oh, I almost hit that truck. Heiss, an actual train engineer guy, is working on the game, Century of Steam. And they've got, like, super passionate team. I'm super excited for it. It's a still-to-be-announced sort of situation. That car's gonna hit me. It's a soon-to-be-announced sort of situation. So, um, when it finally comes out, I'll add it to the channel, but at the moment... I think I read. It is so hard to be paying attention to the driving and to talking. I don't do that very well. That's why I don't do it in the truck. Um, when they announce it, we'll add it to the channel. That's going to definitely be an addition, and I'm excited for that. Other than that, I don't think there's really anything else to really announce in terms of what's going to be coming to the channel and new things. So, uh, yeah, that's about it. For that's part three. Part four, the final, the final part. I don't know why I'm doing parts. I don't know why I'm doing it this way. And I'm going to just go raw recording on the video. So 
you're going to see everything, including my mess-ups in this particular game. So whoop-dee-doo me. This is, this is, this is just what I'm doing. For no, no particular reason. Any who's it? Um, so part four. Exciting news, exciting news. Echo. So for those of you who may have watched the video, Echo edited a video for me for the first time ever. The drunk phasmophobia number one was edited by Echo, not by me. I have enough money saved up and I've got enough financial security now that I am working with Echo. He's he's working we're working together on doing some editing. Echo's getting some editing experience, learning how to do it better. I'm getting someone, I'm getting experience with someone who is not me editing my videos. I really, really love the way Echo edited that video, so go give him some love and go watch that video, please. The Drunk, the drunk Phasmophobia is so good. And I love the way he edited, edited it, even with the mistakes he made. It's hysterical. I think he misspelled something in one of the, one of the subtitles, and it's just, it's awesome. It's got a lot of it's got a lot of character and I and I and I freaking love it. He he did a test edit for me and I immediately was like, dude, I'm paying your ass. Let's do this. That's why Phasmophobia has more or less kind of stopped being on the channel. Primarily for two reasons. One, because I haven't played it as much, but also I will be having edit echo doing Phasmophobia. He'll probably be editing Devour. He'll probably edit a couple of other other games too. We'll just kind of, dis we'll, we'll feel it out because he's still working and doing his stuff and I still have my work. I don't want to overload him but we'll, we'll kind of figure it out. He's going to be helping me with some of the editing and I'm, I'm just I'm tickled pink because I, I fucking love this. It's it's so cool to have these kind of friends and I, and I I blame Andrew and Cody for it because they conspired to get me into TGS and here we are. So, that's, yeah, that's that. Um, I think that's probably about it. I'm going to go, f let's see. Oh, yeah. Uh, also, I'm thinking about getting a GoPro and doing some IRL motorcycle rides. So you guys can see kind of some of my motorcycle rides, maybe. I don't know. We'll see. I've got my motorcycle, and uh, I, I, I think it'd be cool. I, I want to get a GoPro anyway, but if you guys are interested in seeing the video, you can let me know, and I wouldn't mind posting some GoPro stuff uh, of me riding around. Maybe I'll get some of that going with my dad, too, because my dad rides, ride a mo rides a motorcycle, too, and we tend to ride together. I don't think there's anything else, really. I'm trying to rack my brain. Is that pretty much everything that I wanted to talk about? Yeah, that's about it. Okay, so part four, done. Final, part five, technically, I guess. Just a little... A little something, you know, here at the end. For everyone who's still listening, uh, everyone who's a frequent watcher, and even those of you who are subscribed, those of you who are subscribed, those of you who are not, thank you. I know we've got a community that some people would say is basically entirely non-existent. I don't think we're, it's not even a hundred subscribers on the channel. Um, I interact with very few of you because there's not a lot of comments on my videos, but I see this. I see the views. The 30, the 40, the 50 views. And I don't have enough actual friends and family who watch my stuff to count for all of those views unless my friends and family are watching my stuff five or six times in a row. So what's th what that's telling me is that there's some of you out there who is genuinely watching my stuff regularly, who comes back to my channel and to my under to my general perspective seems to be understand seems to be enjoying my content and thank you i know it's not much overall in terms of our our community but what 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 is here has been super exciting 
and has brought a smile out to my face every time I booted up my laptop. I, I truly enjoy waking up and seeing what's going on on my YouTube. Has anyone post, uh, posted a comment? Are there any new likes? Are there any new views? Has anything gone crazy? The fact I've got almost 2,000 views on one of my shorts blew my mind. It absolutely blew my mind. And I'm grateful. I really am. Maybe that's a bit sappy of me, especially this extremely early in my YouTubing career, as it were. But... Yeah, it's... It's genuinely uh, a difficult thing for me to socialize. I... I'm not a very social person in real life. I kind of have to be pushed to it. And like my entire friend group, with the exception of of cosplayer, my entire friend group was essentially thrusted upon me. I made none of the friends that I have. I was basically made to have them as friends. I was literally told by cosplayer, hey, here's a number of a guy I think you'll like, call him, and then I didn't. She asked me again, did you call him? And I didn't. Then she basically said, all right, I'm calling him to make him call you, and that's how we got Puzzle. Uh, Ibisol was just on a Discord call one day, and we started chatting, because she was on a Discord call with cosplayer, and I just happened to have popped in at the time. It's not that I don't have any interest in, it's not like I don't have it's not like I have no interest in making friends but I just personally find it difficult and to, to do that socializing once I get comfortable with you it's a whole different story but it's getting out of the stranger territory that's difficult for me and I'll be honest, even though, yes, my YouTube channel was basically started with the idea of, ah, fuck it, let's just post a video. I genuinely was not thinking it was going to be anything more. I was just going to let it be a private video log thing, if you will. But I didn't mark anything as private, so I kind of defeated that purpose. And, well, here we are. And, uh, yeah. Again, I, you know, I might be getting a bit... I might be getting a bit overdramatic here. I know. That's just kind of sometimes what I do. I don't mean to do it. And it might be coming across as ridiculously sappy. But... Yeah, th this is genuinely more than I ever thought I would get in terms of a, of a community of any kind. Much less subscribers. Much less strangers who watch my stuff so thank you all especially those of you who are still watching and uh are interested in what i'm doing in the future and for those of you who comment things like i love your crew i hope you guys get famous in the future and i love watching you fumble and mess up and, like honestly i do not take it as an insult if you want to put like if you go to my factory and go hey I love watching you be a fucking dumbass. It's hysterical because I know I'm a dumbass. I know I'm an idiot when it comes to some of that stuff. And sometimes I, I will do something and I'll just be like, oh shit, well, that's dumb. Well, I'm going to fix that later and I'm going to regret saying that because the future me is going to hate the past me. I know it. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not pretending like that's not how it's happening. So I love it when the, you guys post, God, it's so fun to watch you when you're doing that because it's like, it reminds me of when I was a newbie. Yes, it's awesome. I love it. Thank you for watching. I'm glad, I'm glad you liked it. And I hope you all continue to like what I post. And I hope to continue to post for a long, long time. I really do. I don't, I don't feel like I'll ever be able to live off of YouTube. I'm not expecting it to become like, oh my God, I'm making so much money. I can quit my job now. But... I'll be perfectly honest with you. I would love nothing more than to get to the point where I am making enough or have enough money saved up that I can make like a YouTube short movie or something. Like just, I, I, I again, I keep, I keep bringing him up, but it's like, he's like one of my main inspirations. 
I want to do like a Markiplier and get my friends together and do kind of like a heist with Markiplier or a in space with Markiplier kind of thing. Maybe not to that level of competency because I probably won't be able to afford that. But if I could get to the point where I could just do something that kind of cool in person with all of my friends and just have something like that, I think that would be amazing. And I would love to do that. And I hope someday we can get to that point. I really do. Anyway, over dramatic, sappy, me being me and ranting aside, thank you all for watching. I've been Kate and Keon. Um, yeah, I'll see you all again in the next one. Bye-bye.